Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are having very sad news about the death of Tony Ganios. Tony Ganios, who was best known for his performance as Anthony Meat, Tuparello in the Porky's sex comedy franchise, has passed away. Ganios was famed for his part in the franchise, with 64 years under his belt. The news of Ganios's passing was shared on X, which was formerly known as Twitter, by Amanda Serrano Ganios, who had been engaged to Ganios. In the early hours of Sunday morning, he passed away after undergoing a lengthy operation to treat a spinal infection. The last words we said to each other were, I love you. Serrano Ganios was the author of the work. An understatement would be to say that love is present. Every single thing in my life revolves around you. My heart, my soul, and my dearest partner are all contained within this. I adore you. At this very moment, I am having a hard time trusting that idea. Serrano Ganios said on Tuesday that it was so quick. This is according to what she put on X. I was kept in the dark for a number of days about the fact that he was not feeling comfortable. The fact that he had finally informed me about it and that he had been transported to the hospital did not change the fact that his spinal cord was seriously injured by the infection. The following morning, after the operation, his heart stopped beating completely. As a result, I am entirely broken. At the moment, I have the impression that I do not have anyone inside of me. He was my closest companion and my heart's true love. He was my person as stated by Serrano Ganios, who participated in an interview with P. O. Ball. I just love him so much. Ganios made his debut in the film industry in 1979 with the character of tough guy Perry LaGuardia in the coming-of-age film The Wanderers, which was directed by Philip Kaufman. The film was a film about coming-of-age. Additional to that, Ken Wall made an appearance in the movie. Prior to this, Wall had worked with Ganios on the film The Taking of Beverly Hills, 1991, as well as the television series Weisgy, 1987-1990. The statement that Wall wrote on X Monday said, Rest in peace, buddy. I love you. X Monday was another day. In 1981, Ganios appeared in three films, with Porky's being the most well-known of the lot. He also had starring roles in two other films. He became a pivotal figure in the teen sex comedy franchise as a result of his performance as Anthony Meat Tuparello in the sequel Porky's Eye. The next day, which was released in 1983, and Porky's Revenge, which was released in 1985. Both of these films were produced in the same year. Additionally, Ganios made an appearance in the comic picture Continental Divide, which was released in 1981. He was paired with John Belushi in appearances, Rising Sun, which Kaufman directed and which was released in 1993, was his final major film in the Hollywood feature film industry. In the film Die Hard 2, which was released in 1990, he played the part of a murderer who was stabbed in the eye with an icicle by the character of John McClane, who was played by Bruce Willis. A total of five episodes of Wisegai, one episode of Scarecrow and Mrs. King in 1987, and one episode of The Equalizer in 1988, are among the television shows in which he has made an appearance. Each and every one of these incidents is included in his television credentials. Kianos was scheduled to perform at the Cult Classics Convention in Bastrop, Texas, during the month of March. The convention was held throughout the month. It was planned that he would be there alongside other Porky stars, including Roger Wilson, Dan Monahan, Cyril O'Reilly, and Mark Harrier, among others. During an interview that took place in 2015 with Cult Faction, Giannos referred to the band as a big dysfunctional family that has been together through the highs and lows of life. He said that the band has gone through everything together. We're like a big dysfunctional family that for over 30 years has seen each other through marriages, childbirth, divorces, lawsuits, and the tragic loss of one of our own, said the Brooklyn-born actor who got his start in acting. We've been through it all. In spite of the fact that there are times when we have the urge to suffocate one another, 
we have always been able to band together for the purpose of providing mutual support and defense when the situation has become increasingly difficult. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.